हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू आवर चैनल हमें लास्ट क्लास रे डिस्कशन करी थी अबाउट मीनिंग डेफिनेशन एंड कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ एजुकेशनल मैनेजमेंट और कैरेक्टरिस्टिक और सॉरी इंपोर्टेंस एंड द नीड ऑफ द एजुकेशनल मैनेजमेंट टुडे विल डिस्कस अबाउट नेचर ऑफ एजुकेशनल मैनेजमेंट सो लेट स्टार्ट सो इफ यू कंसीडर द नेचर ऑफ एजुकेशनल मैनेजमेंट द फास्ट नेचर ऑफ एजुकेशनल मैनेजमेंट इज एजुकेशनल मैनेजमेंट इज ए यूनिवर्सल प्रोसेस एज यू नो दैट द यूनिवर्सल प्रोसेस मीन्स इट इज एप्लीकेबल टू ऑल और अक्रॉस वेरियस डिसिप्लिन और वेरियस इंस्टीट्यूशन इन एजुकेशनल मैनेजमेंट पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू सो एजुकेशनल मैनेजमेंट इज यूनिवर्सल प्रोसेस because it relates to each and every country society and organizations irrespective of the country society or organizations whether it is private organization or the government organization government institution or the private institutions or any countries whether it is our own country or in western country and various society whether the society predominant by the any culture whether materialistic or it is talking about the any idealistic society so the educational management process will be applicable to across the region across the society across the organization because the need of managements can be raised in every field of education so whether it is primary education the secondary education the tertiary education or the professional institution including teacher education program so educational managements will be applicable across the institution so it is a universal process any institutions or any country they needs to adopt this educational management process the second one is educational management is an art as you know that the educational management is considered as accepted as art because management things are not done through the others though it has been done through the others but it is a process through which it is an art or it follow certain artistic principles because not only one has to learn the principle of management but also the manager has to qualities have must have the quality of empathy patience good manner experience behavior and skills so being a educational management expert or being a manager in educational institution that means whether may be a principals may be a hod or higher management so it focus not only the principle of management talking about whether it is a scientific principle of management or we talking about the leadership quality or talking about the motivational principles or any other principle it also looks after the empathy the patient good manner experience and behavioral skill these are the empathy good manner and your patience these are some artistic principles or we can say that एक्सपीरियंस बिहेवियर इटा गोटे कला ताको कहूँ ये हिसाब रू आम वी कैन इम्प्रुव द एजुकेशनल मैनेजमेंट प्रोसेस सो इट इज कन्सीडर एज एन आर्ट बिकॉज इट फॉलो सर्टेन आर्टिस्टिक क्वालिटी क्वालिटेटिव डायमेंशन लाइक द गुड पैस गुड मैनर पैसेंस एम्पथी एट्सेट्रा दर्ड प्रिंसिपल इज इट इज एन बिहेवियरल सैंस और इट इज ए सोशल सैंस एज यू नो दैट द एजुकेशनल मैनेजमेंट मोर फोकस ऑन द बिहेवियरल एस्पेक्ट of individual because as in an organizations it deals with the human resources so it collects the data using various methods observations experimentations explanations like political science economics and sociology as you know we know that the political science economics social sociology these are the social science likewise these various disciplines educational management focus on collecting useful informations through various method observation experimentation explanation so all the characteristics of the social science is a part of your man educational management process so these are three major characteristics or we are talking about the nature of the uh, what you call nature or characteristic of your educational management the fourth point is educational management is a profession we know the educational management can be regarded as a profession because is in every professions to manage activity effectively for she and she should have some particular quality like preparation behavioral skills and passion 
as a professions what is a profession as you know that it is an activities or it is a job or activities which require certain skills so in order to execute execute those profession you need to execute those those activity very effectively and to do those activity you require certain skill like preparation behavioral skills patience pertinence perseverance so these are skills or the leadership skill so is an every profession require some specific skill so these skills normally train and acquire through the process of educational management so this educational management process will helps us to manage any activity effectively by utilizing your specific or expertise skills the fifth one is the educational management is multidisciplinary subject or multidisciplinary in nature as such educational management is not a core subject but it is a multidisciplinary multidisciplinary means it takes the principles the concept this various areas of learnings from various disciplines the principal concept skills which involve management relates to economics mathematics psychology anthropology and sociology so it takes the best idea best concept best principles from various disciplines suppose you are talking about the budgeting aspect you have to take the support of the economics or the mathematics you are talking about the behavioral skills you are talking about the leadership you have to take care about your psychological aspect anthropological when you are talking about the social skills or the interpersonal relationship you have to take care of your anthropological dimension and sociological dimension so it takes the help from it takes help from the other disciplines like me as discuss the next is talking about the educational management is a dynamic process as we are dealing with the human dimension or human resources and human resources the behavior attitude the skills knowledge their thinking process changing from time to time from place to place location to location and depending upon the scenario so it is considered a dynamic process because it's continuously changing and dynamic because the principle of management the are changeable from the time to time keeping in view the requirement of the resources keeping in view the uh, objective of the resources or keeping in view the the objective of the manpower keeping in view the objective of the management keeping in view the objective and the principle of the management normally this principle changes from time to time from situation to situation so it helps educational management helps to mold the behavior mold your activities accordingly keeping in view the changing time keeping in view the changing of institution so as a result of which the new educational policy new actions that change based on the societal change based on the behavioral change we need to change the new policy you need to change the new course of action and in order to implement those policy and those course of actions you need to change your management process so that's why it is called a dynamic process as you are dealing with societal aspect human resources and these concept or these uh, components are changing from time to time so depending upon the situation so that's why it is considered as a dynamic process educational management is goal oriented from the very beginning we are discussing about the management focusing on the some objective some critical objective so is an every function of management is goal oriented without goal management do not does not do anything so effective management is guided by specific objective the objective very specific and follow the smart principles that is call your smart principles smart principle your specific measurable achievable realistic and time bound so smart principle you have to follow so effective management guided by specific objective and the educational management process of planning organizing directing and providing instructions to achieve those objective it's not only focus on objective setting objective but also it takes appropriate process through the planning process organizing directing and giving suitable instruction favorable instruction so that each and every individuals will be directed towards achieving those objective and the chief objective of management is to achieving the 
predetermined goals and these goals and these objectives are predetermined it is earlier it has to be fixed aguru ame taku fix karithiba aw se fix jo goal thibo management process taku kon kariba sabu main power ku motivate karibo directed karibo ku so that samaste sei goal ku organizational goal ku samane achieve karibe so according to scalar and the scalar the any things without management is nothing without management processes nothing without proper managerial process so anything without management is nothing je kono se jinis ho management ko chhadi ki tar kichi existence nahi so selecker and selecker they told they according to their view point as anything without management is nothing then educational management is a group activity ame agaru kahi che it takes the help from other and is directed it direct uh, uh, towards the common objective so educational management is a group activity it's involve the people and individuals for a common goal not a single individuals they achieve those objectives so they takes the help they take the help of others and try to achieve those objectives so it is a group activities and its organization and also directed towards achieve those objective in order to achieve those objective it required support from others so it is collective efforts so that the objective predetermined objective can be achieved very realistically within a specific time bound manner and last one is educational management is social process it is a social process at it gives more importance to the social benefit and responsibility we have in any institutions any individual have some social responsibility social duty and educational management helps us to achieve those social tal responsibility execute those social responsibility so educational management is a societal process so these are the common characteristics or we can say the nature of the educational management so first is educational management universal process educational management is an art educational management is a social science educational management we are talking about is a uh, profession educational management is a multidisciplinary subject educational management is a dynamic process it is a goal oriented process it focus on the group activities and the social process so these are the nine major characteristics or the nature of educational management so ei ame jo nota point ko ame focus kariba au tar bi pdf link ta ame de deba jodi ki pila mane ta ku download kari paribe au jo mane parinto channel ko subscribe kari na handi subscribe karantu like karantu ebang anya mane ko sath share karantu au jodi kichi suggestion achi comment box re deki amku utsahit karantu thank you